Danse, hello. Gigawi nawaski ne siga son, ya ne hiawe win. Menaikosis egua men waske juice niaute. Hello, my name is Janelle Puapskonias. I'm a Nehiao person from Little Pine First Nation within the Treaty 6 territory. I'm here today to share a game with you that reminds us of our home. But first, I'd like to share a poem with you that reminds me of home. I remember you somehow. I remember those eyes. And they saw me, they saw the tan hides and the shells that decorated my wear. Yes, somehow I remember you. And these eyes saw many things in this place, deep, fibrous roots with immemorial length, and I remember. We gathered around the fires in the dark of winter to hear the stories of our trees and our roots of our mothers and grandfathers and grandmothers, our many mothers, many fathers, infinite cousins, and our kin to count coup about the ancestors and the stars and about love and about respect, about the tricks with Sage Chak would give to us to teach us lessons, about the skies and our way of foretelling the weather, about Mysticini and why he stood so big. Yes, the warmth of those fires wrapped around me and loved me. And yes, those stories reverberated from my ears to my head to the tips of my toes. And yes, it took days to hear one story. And yes, we earned each story that was told. Now that was a piece of my poem from Remembrance Day. It was to remind us of where we come from. After being a country for 150 years, it's an important time to remember the history of this place. It is important to remember the past and the people who have lived here and the histories that are in the layers of within that past. So we're here to play a game here today. Now I welcome you into this space and I ask that you come with an open heart and an open mind. I remind you that in our safe space that some of the, the experiences and stories within our talk today are a bit challenging. But I invite you to feel it. But most of all, try to have fun with it. So, Niched Up Games is a company that teaches through storytelling, but through games. It is our opportunity to learn about the past, about the indigenous history from an indigenous perspective, which doesn't happen very often. The objective of Niched Up Games is to earn resilience points. By earning resilience points, you will have an opportunity to have a mile in our moccasins and to learn that at the end of the game, it is your strength and your resilience in character and who you are that makes you win the game of life. So we're gonna get started here today. And I invite you to participate along. We're gonna start off by playing a game. So I'm gonna play with my imaginary dice. And we're gonna roll a one. And when, if you get a one, you pull a card, which is a Nietzsche Life card. And a Nietzsche Life card is a silly instance or a funny statement that you must read aloud. Each statement gains or takes away from your resilience points. I remind you, at the end of the game, it is the most resilience points that makes you the winner. So let's play this game. And let's say we roll the dice and we roll a one. If you like to keep it real enough, Jig for 10 seconds, and you will gain three resilience points. So I invite you to jig with me. And it's as simple as a step, ball, change, step, ball, change. And we'll do it faster. Step, ball, change again, step, ball, change. <laughs> Congratulations, you have just won three resilience points. Thank you for that. With niched up games, you might get a card, for example, who are the Métis? Now, the Métis people are people with a distinct culture stemming from the intermarriage of First Nations people and settlers. They have a distinct culture, identity, governance structure, and system. 
Their flag is an infinity symbol, which means the coming together of two distinct cultures with no beginning and no end. But also in Nietzsche Life card, you might get a card like this. It's true. <laughs> okay, so now we play again. We roll a dice, and we get a two. And we get a resilience card. Resilience cards are more serious, real, or relevant issues today as an Indigenous person. Now, as I read this, I remind you that my experience and the experience within the Nietzsche Tough Games isn't the experience of each and every Indigenous person in this land, but is a representation of our community. For example, at the age of four, you were taken away from your family to go to residential school 10 months out of the year. They educated the culture, the language, the pride, identity, and resilience from you. As a result of this, as an adult, you don't have it in you to talk about it. And you definitely don't have the love to show your family because that was taken away. This is a quote from my nookum, my grandmother. And they took our children, and truthfully, they never came back. They might have been in our bodies, but definitely not the same. I too feel the impacts and traumas from residential school. I do know what it feels like. And despite everything that has happened to you and the traumas that you experience, the resilience card reads, although you are impacted, you overcome and you are the first generation to complete a university degree. So you gain four resilience points. So we roll again. And we roll a three or a five, and we get a stigma label. Now, in the game, stigma labels are labels that are discriminatory, racist, or laterally violent. The way we developed this in this game is that I had a group of young people ages 12 to 28 who were of indigenous ancestry, and we came up with 77 terms that were put on us from non-indigenous peoples or from our own indigenous peoples, which is surprising. So let's say we rolled a five. We got this one. You got potato. Now, I've been through life, and I've had a lot of discriminatory terms put at me, thrown at me. I remember being as young as seven years old and having these two older kids come at me and my little brother, saying things that I couldn't understand, but I knew they were horrible and ugly. I was just too brown to be their friend. And then at the same time, I remember going back home and having the kids make fun of me in Little Pine in the reserve because I figure skated. I went to this town. It was just too different. It made me feel like I was too white on the inside. So that's why we get potato. Now, people go through a lot of stigma labels. And do we stop to think about the labels that we give other peoples when we see them? Do we think about how that impacts them? Do we think about the labels that we give ourselves? We are going to roll at the dice. And we get a four or a six. And we get a trivia card. Here's your opportunity to gain more resilience points. Now your question is this. Can you name two First Nations communities within this territory of Calgary? I'll give you a hint. There's Sutina and there's Siksika, two strong Indigenous nations. Second trivia question. When you take images and designs from an indigenous community without repercussions like the Black Hawk logos or the Washington Redskins or the Edmonton Eskimos, do you stop to think about the repercussions that it 
makes to indigenous peoples? Do you stop to think about the repercussions of these horrible, misrepresented depictions? It impacts me greatly. There is no honor in that sign for me. So throughout the, my experience of playing niche step games, I've seen young people become empowered, become proud, and reclaim terms for themselves. That's really important to change the future, is empowering our young people. I've also seen nations of indigenous peoples come together, as well as bonding with non-indigenous peoples. And through laughter and through lessons, they are able to change the future by just sitting around together and building our relationships. Because it's not easy to repair what has been torn. But through learning and through laughter and through true, honest discussions, we can overcome misinformation and stereotypes. Now, I, I really want to go home. And I live in Little Pine First Nation, my first part of my life. It was my home and my playground. It was my peace. And I long to be there with my family. But my work to this land and my commitment to this land isn't over because the world still needs niched up games. The world still needs to overcome ourselves. So I challenge you. This is your opportunity in our 150th year of being a country to learn about our peoples. I welcome you to it. I invite you to learn how to jig. I invite you to, to learn the language of the people in your territory or learn Nehiawewin, Plains Cree. Nikiwetan. It means home. It means I get to go back to the place where I once grew up, where the place where I found my peace. But that work isn't over just yet. So soon I'll go home, because we all want to go home. So Nikiwe Dan, let's go home. Thank you. <laughs>